I've been doing 75 hard ish. It's day 11 and I'm struggling. Mr. Genius Genius. What's up, y'all? Cece back with another video. Welcome or welcome back. I'm just a regular girl trying to live a fit girl's lifestyle and on the struggle bus while doing it. So if that is you, if you'd like to join me on this journey, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all the like, and TikTok. Don't forget about TikTok. Anyway, um, what's up, y'all? We are back today with another video and today is going to be our two week update on our 75 hard ish challenge so really excited about that um we've made it two weeks i'll tell you guys exactly how we've done for all of our guidelines um on every single day we'll go through that we will do a weigh-in we'll do some photos to see if we can see a difference within these two weeks and um i'll just take you guys on a day or a couple days in my life on 75 hard ish so tap in below if you are joining me i hope you guys are doing well on this challenge and you're feeling good and you're having a better day than me because i'm not gonna lie i'm struggling right now um i'm supposed to be at the gym i was supposed to leave a few minutes ago and i just sat here and i was like i don't feel like going anywhere it's like 20 degrees outside I just don't feel like leaving the house. I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like working out. We did do our morning walk. Um, me and my husband did our morning walk this morning, which was cool. Um, but I, I need, to, I was supposed to get like an upper body workout in and I just don't feel like going. So what I'm going to do is clear out the furniture in my living room and we're going to turn on a YouTube video. I'm going to probably turn on like a grow with Joe video and do one of those cardio videos to get some more steps in and get some more cardio and then do maybe like a stretch or a mat Pilates or something like that. Um, I mean, technically, I am only like my guidelines are one 45 minute workout a day. And I've technically done that because um, we walked this morning. We walk for 45 minutes every morning and it gets us two miles in. So um, I'm more than halfway through my steps for the day. So I will hit those. But um, today was supposed to be a lift day. And like I said, I just don't feel like lifting. So um, we're going to do something else. Uh, yeah, when you don't feel like it, don't just not do anything. Do something. And that's what I'm going to do today. It may not be as strenuous as a heavy lift, but it'll be something. So if you're feeling like this today, thumbs up this video, y'all, if you know the feeling. Because I was contemplating just doing nothing, and I was like, I can't do that. I got to get to work. So let's put this on. Been out late night creeping, shot slide on bitches. Posted up with the militia, niggas ain't switching. Mind on missions, mind on pussy and millions, mind on pussy and millions. I'm tryna call a sex symbol to eat my kids up. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems, bring on the problems, bring on the motherfucking problems. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems, bring on the problems, bring on the motherfucking problems. Hey. Braid it up in my sweet soul Hit them then I get them easy on Life ain't getting any easier Flock off, flock off, see though I know that I'm not in love She don't know me either It's just hard to find a love Then she keep on getting deeper Who said it's cheaper to keep her? I'd rather release her Body ain't give her away like a feature You know the procedure Niggas is pretty in the So we stay with the sweet boy I'm rapping for well in my twenties So treacherous, introduce y'all to the leader Kind of me without a smoke. I like the money for sure. But I love the hustle the most. Whew. All right, y'all. We're done with that Grow With Joe workout. I burned 131 minutes. I burned 148 active calories and 200 total calories. And I put it on the walk setting because her workouts are like walking workouts. So I did 1.37 
miles. Why you don't do open? Because her workouts are like walking workouts. Like get 5,000 steps. So. I'm just saying open go. It's so there's open, so like don't anything. walking. Yeah. But. Um, yeah. So I'm at 8,400 steps. So I only have 1,600 more to go. Which means I'm pretty much done for the day. Um, by the time I just get my regular steps in for the rest of the day, I'll be done. But um, I also have 75 workout minutes. So I'm going to do some Pilates. Um, probably like a 20 minute mat Pilates video. And then we're done with our workout for the day. This is our, our lazy girl workout. And not saying that grow with Joe or Pilates is lazy girl because it's not. But this is my low impact no lifting i don't feel like going nowhere but i need to get some calories um burned workout so let's find a pilates video all right y'all we're about to start this pilates workout this is a 20 minute full body pilates workout for beginners i will put um both the workouts that i did below so you guys can do them if you would like but i'm just about to turn on my watch for pilates and oh, Pilates is so hard, y'all. Pilates is so hard. But this is a workout by Issa Welly. Issa Welly. And um, yeah, so hopefully she doesn't kill us. So let's do this. She pretty, she sharp for toes. And my panties, they came with a pole. Notice my name ain't heavy and jealousy. I'm like, fuck it, I want me some more. Hit it from the back, she bent up. Playing with the money, get spent up. Chains on my dad, no kids, huh? You the type of girl I pay rent for. Suck it in the credits with a tip for. Bought me a plane, not a sprinter. Caught a million dollars on a dental. She say I'm a step up a gentle. I've been out late night creeping, shot slide on bitches. Posted up with the militia. Niggas ain't switching. Mind on missions. Mind on pussy and millions. Mind on pussy and millions. I'm trying to call a sex symbol to eat my kids, huh? They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the motherfucking problems. They say more money, more problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the motherfucking. Only sign in the game. We the new Lucian Grange. Bring on the reins. A MJ thing. I'm talking a Brady thing. I'm off of the juice. Never could say go to mix. Rocking the bricks out of twist. Fuck up, picking comb. Not acting like Christians in here, but Christian Dior in their homes. The bigger we get, gotta thank God for this. I got a lot that I give, I be in it, I guess like the girls is on 25th out of the 20s inside of the 20s Instead of about it, that's how I can afford the shit, now I got the jet building the lady strip In the back of the crib, I record the hits, in the front of the crib, the got it away Break it, break it, the records, more money, more problems, they come with the status Running through customs when you run the Alice, I got a custom, the custom, the fastest I'm talking about fabrics, I'm talking about mattress, I never sleep while I sleep in the body I'm moving Taking our morning walk it's 26 degrees out here. You can see how red my face is. It's freezing, but we gotta get it done. Two miles every morning. That's been our goal. We've done it nine, nine times out of the 12 days I think we're at. So <laughs> oh, I'll talk to y'all when I get back in the house. Ooh, yeah, finally get a chance to talk. So, like I said this morning, it's Friday. Um, we went on our walk and then I went to Orange Theory. I just got back and I'm about to do my first weigh-in. And um, yeah, we can do our photos and kind of our side-by-sides and see what we think. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm nervous that it's going to say I lost nothing. And then I'm going to be pissed and have to like use extra motivation to get through to the next week and the next weigh in. I feel like my first two weeks of any type of cut are always super stubborn. Like the first two weeks are kind of like, is she gonna be consistent? Is she gonna keep this up? We're not moving until we see some consistency here. And so I feel like that's what my first two weeks always consist of. And so I'm always just demotivated after like that first week or two because I feel like I'm working super hard but I don't see any results. So, <sighs> there's that but I mean I don't know we we're gonna we're gonna try it out I feel like I want to shower first and get kind of all the sweat off of me before I weigh in but we can do our photos here uh, we can definitely do our photos so hold on 
Genius, Mr. Genius Idiot. I love the name. So happy I have successfully completed the first well not complete two weeks but um, it just feels good it feels good to know that I, I started something I'm doing it I'm continuing to do it my body is starting to feel good I, I'm feeling some like physical changes like not just because I haven't stepped on the scale but I'm just feeling some physical changes like I feel better I feel more energized especially seeing as how we've been going to bed a little earlier we've been getting up a little earlier and I just feel more energized and productive and good throughout the day I had a few tired nights this week um, I just like felt really drained and exhausted at the end of the day but work has also been kicking my ass so I think that's playing a little part when you're mentally exhausted I feel like that also aids in you being physically exhausted and so I am a little mentally exhausted from from work um, for the last few weeks so if you want to know what's going on you can subscribe to my main channel and I talk about it there but I've just been a little physically drained from that this week so I think that has not been helping anything but either way I'm feeling good I'm feeling better I've been eating a lot better and being very mindful keeping within my calories and my macros which we'll talk about in a bit um, when I go make my coffee smoothie but yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling good and I'm feeling motivated and I'm feeling like the discipline is coming back and I just want to keep this high going, okay? So I'm going to get in the shower, I'm going to dry off and then we're going to see where I landed as far as weight and oh, I did want to update you guys on these. So remember, so I have my waist beads on. When I put these on two weeks ago, this one couldn't go past like right here on my stomach, remember? And now it can go like underneath. I got one up here, one down here that cannot go over my stomach, my belly, which is quite nice because that means we're losing losing inches. Like this did not have this much room in it last week. And then this one, this one can come all the way down here and this one I couldn't get past like underneath my breastbone. So, so your girl is working. Like even if the scale doesn't say so, I love these waist beads because I can, I love these waist beads because I can clearly see the weight like even if I lose a pound on the scale I may not be able to see it I may not be able to feel it but here I can this is a physical reminder of I wear these all day every day and these are physical reminders of where my body was when I tied them two weeks ago when we started 75 hard on day one and where they are now and baby this could not come all the way down here two weeks ago so I mean even if the scale doesn't move we're making progress, okay? All right, I gotta shower. Okay, y'all, so I just weighed in and we lost a whopping 1.4 pounds. Um, I told y'all, this is what happens. I feel like the first two weeks, it is stubborn. I am seeing the progress in other places though. Like I showed you guys the waist speeds and all that. So I do feel like I'm seeing progress. So I'm not super discouraged. Um, at least it wasn't the same. Look it was we lost something so that is good but i am anticipating seeing the weight drop off just a little more so maybe like a pound a week versus that was a pound 1.4 pounds in almost two weeks so I, I am at well a week and a half so i guess that is one pound a week 
kind of yeah so i'm anticipating the weight to drop off just a little more quickly like a very very little more quickly um as we move into these upcoming weeks as long as i stay consistent and dedicated along my with my diet and eating and everything so um that's where we are so i i like to show these moments so everyone doesn't think it's just like a quick fix right you go on 75 hard or you do something crazy and it's just gonna drop all your weight if it drops all your weight super fast guess how you gonna gain it back super fast and so i want i feel like this is a great way to jump start and so this is going to drop more weight than i typically would just going on my normal cut with my normal workout split because i am burning more calories however um I want it to still be somewhat sustainable afterwards right so um that's the whole goal for me you know obviously work toward whatever your goals are but that's the whole goal for me um so we're about to make our protein coffee like smoothie this is so good and it tastes like a good like chocolate coffee smoothie so it's really really good it gives me caffeine it gives me protein and all of that so i'm going to show you guys what i use first i'm using my nin is that ninja yeah my ninja blender so this is just the blender cup and we're about to put all the ingredients in here so hold on <music> Every day not only when you're lonely, yeah You see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me, yeah You see my thick thighs Lost when you look into my brown eyes You see my little ways can make you suicide You never know the devil in a disguise So why don't you stand up, baby, yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do you want me on top? So let me show you, show you, show you I don't need to back it up Don't wanna hold you, hold you, hold you Split you in half with my heart I just wanna love on you, trust in you, honor you, please do the same on your part Be honest, be honest. you are this But I can be heartless, regardless of my conscience Be honest, be honest. you are this But I can be heartless, regardless of my conscience Take time, you know, Alright y'all, this is what it looks like you can definitely put a little more ice if you want it a little thicker, but I like mine like this so I can sip it out of a straw. So good. Mm, mm -mm. And for the record, that is 59 grams of protein. 59 grams of protein and... I'll put the calories on the screen. I don't know exactly the calorie count, but I think it's like close to 400 calories. But that is an amazing amount of protein you get in one drink. And this will keep me full and satiated until lunch. And energized because I got a lot going on today. So that is the protein coffee recipe. I will talk to you guys. Sitting here eating. I totally forgot I was vlogging <laughs> my update, y'all. So we have some shrimp this coconut shrimp it was frozen i just put it in the air fryer and then i have some of that jasmine rice from trader joe's i used about half the bag the frozen jasmine rice that takes three minutes in the microwave if you don't get that for an easy meal girl it was so good i have some chili lime sauce on here and that's all i'm eating for lunch it's like breakfasty lunch because this is the first time this is the first thing i've eaten today well i did have that coffee shake but this is the first thing i'm eating after that and it is 2 30. so i just had 10 pieces of shrimp and this coconut shrimp is so good is it the healthiest no but it's not the most unhealthy either I try to watch my calories while still letting myself live, if that makes sense. Um, to drink, I'm drinking the Sparkling Pomegranate Punch from Trader Joe's. And it's only 50 calories. So, these have been my saving grace lately. With my meal, I need to have something, like I like to have something fizzy or something like juice or poppy. But I don't want to drink juice or pop. So, this is fizzy. It's 50 calories, has a little flavor, tastes good. All right, y'all, I just finished that meal. 
and I put it into my fitness pal. I'm not going to lie. I haven't been the greatest at tracking my calories. I've been kind of tracking them in my head with what I think I know. And um, I don't think that's good. That's not good. That's why I don't do it. Because I put the, that shrimp and rice in my fitness pal. I was like, oh, it can't be that much. Y'all, let me tell you why was 10 pieces of that shrimp 517 calories and only... 13.3 grams of protein. 500, and I had no idea. That's what happens when you don't look at what you're eating and how much you're eating. 10 pieces of that shrimp wasn't even that much. I could have ate more, like to be honest. But 517 calories for 10 little pieces of shrimp, um, that coconut shrimp. So I cannot eat that anymore. That is just way too many calories for that. And only 13 grams of protein. If you recall, our coffee shake had 400 calories and 59 grams of protein. So right now, I still only I still only have 76 grams of protein, which means that whole meal was only 16 grams of pro 17 grams of protein, and that doesn't help me. Like I need all of my meals to be 30 and 40 to 50 grams of protein, and so. Um, that's something just to make sure you're looking out for because historically you would think oh shrimp is low in calorie You know shrimp shouldn't be that much even if it's a little fried shrimp shouldn't be that much And I can eat more of shrimp, but no you cannot at least not when it's that coconut shrimp So keep that in mind when you're eating that the calories can definitely sneak up on you and you have no idea Like I feel like that's not gonna keep me satiated for long and I'm going to be back hungry and looking for something else to eat when I've already feel like I overate for lunch um, when it comes to calorie wise. And living and dying by calories is not the greatest either. So I try to keep that in mind as well. I try not to live and buy it, live and die by the calorie count because you will just get burnt out and you're not going to want to do it anymore. And you're, you're going to get discouraged if you do that. But you just really got to be mindful of the choices that you're making because like that's the reason why we're only down one pound and I've done so much working out over the past few weeks, right? It's because you're not like probably not being as mindful as you think you are. So I just wanted to preface or I just wanted to end this little segment off by saying that because I think it's super important to know what you're putting in your body. And if you have to count at first just to get a good gauge of it, then make sure you do that. But I can't believe that shrimp was 517 calories. That shit is crazy. All right, y'all. It's a super busy day at work. So I'm going to get back to work and then I'll be back. Don't just say you're like me. Yeah. Why don't you call and you talk to the girl? 